year 2041, the great trade wars began. For 28 years, the North American continent was wracked by a series of brutal wars. But as terrible as it was, it was only the beginning. For light years away in the cold abyss of space, another enemy is gathering its forces. First stage of the attack was in the form of thousands upon thousands of pods. They were the harbinger, the beginning of the end. Unlike anything we'd seen before, this alien infection could convert anything it came into contact with. The pods converted everything into mindless machines. These converts had no purpose but to destroy or convert still others. And there was nothing we could do. What little defense we had was crushed almost overnight. The few remaining scientists, like myself, were brought together to attempt to learn what the pod's weaknesses might be. Dr. Bowen, yes. it's in the tube. It's unopened. Yes, it appears to be a malfunction. Of all the pods that had rained down on our world, it was the only one that hadn't opened. I've never seen anything like it before. It's seemingly organic. If we could just a find a weakness. Let's begin with an in vivo crystallization. I'll alert Dr. Cortez. Fine, thank you. Miranda. She was my only daughter and all I had left in a dying world. I thought she would be safe with me. Dad, why do they have to use mice for the experiments? And yet... I had sealed both our fates by bringing her to that dangerous place. I love you. to help Miranda, I could only wonder, would she be a harbinger of destruction or of salvation?
Miranda. I sustained some moderate damage, but you should be good as new in a few minutes. Sustained some moderate damage, but you should be good as new in a few minutes. You need to get to the abandoned Canadian moon base. The government believes the Canadians were working on a powerful superweapon on the moon before the pod invasion began. If the weapon exists and is still operational, it may be your best chance against the invaders. When you leave here, you need to head east. Find an active teleporter that will take you to the moon. And once you're there, you must do everything that you can to acquire the weapon. Commander, we have more information on that signal from space. It, it appears to be a large object traveling very fast. Miranda, the government's just given us more information on that object heading our way. It appears to be a small planet or a moon. Density scans show that it has an atmosphere, and government experts believe that there's a chance it supports some kind of life. Our worst fears have been realized. The alien planetoid's now orbiting the Earth. Miranda, Nebraska has been completely evacuated. Reports indicate that almost everything's been converted, but we've received word that there are small pockets of people still alive in the surrounding territories. The only chance we have to save them is to get the northern defense net activated immediately. We're not sure the location of the defense node activator unit since it was recently moved to a new location. You must find it, or these people don't stand a chance. Miranda, the southern node of the Reagan Memorial Defense Net is located at the outskirts of Houston at the Johnson Space Center. The facility is heavily protected and surrounded by walls. You'll need to find a way to get over the walls and get inside to activate the defense node satellite. Miranda, there's a problem with the southeastern defense net satellite. There's a reserve satellite at the Cape Canaveral launch site. It's all prepped and ready to go. Now, it's not confirmed, but there are reports that the Space Center launch facility has been taken over. You'll need to find a way inside so that you can launch the reserve satellite and activate the defense grid. Miranda, you'll need the launch manual to activate the satellite. It should be in the vicinity of the Space Center. Good luck. Miranda, can you hear me? Friendly forces don't know who you are. There's a chance they'll attack you. They have special orders to kill anything converted, and it's important that you activate the defense node. There's no time to explain everything now. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Miranda, everyone is not your enemy. Remember, you're part human. You can't let the alien side of you take over. Animal attacks have been characterized by the remaining Animals Bureau 
as highly unusual. In the footage you are about to see, farmer Wilma Johnson is being attacked by a cow. Fortunately, her husband, Zeb, was there to capture the tragedy on video. Zeb! Help me, Zeb! Put the camera down, you Help me! Due to the severity of this crisis, Governor Maudlin has ordered the evacuation of the state. Despite our dwindling staff, we at KBOT intend to follow and report this story to you as long as it is physically possible. <laughs> Are you tired of losing your personal belongings to pods? Who isn't? But you don't have to. Podproof storage is now available from Rocco and Sons in Data City. Check this out. Six inch thick cast iron walls. 24 hour guards carrying Colt 2000D penetrators. It all adds up to anti-pod security you can't put a price on. Speaking of price, would you believe this special introductory offer gives you a five by five foot space for only $499,000? It's absolutely true, but only if you act now, right now. Send your money and belongings to Rocco and Sons Storage, Post Office Box 666, Data City. Rocco and Sons are not responsible for any lost or stolen items. What are you waiting for? A pot to fall on your head? Once again, that address is Rocco and Sons Storage, Post Office Box 666, Data City. It appears that we're getting more and more stories in about these pod sightings in Houston, Kansas City, and Denver. It looks also, Jeff, like we're getting sightings in Europe. Well, I guess there goes my summer vacation, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> we at Station KBOT want to remind you that at this point, these sightings are unconfirmed. We have no solid information as yet. It's important to stay calm. I want to repeat that these sightings are unconfirmed. Jane? Oh, my. No! that Jeff Darling is on location at a pod impact site. Let's go live to Jeff right now. This is Jeff Darling reporting to you from the Twin Lakes District. I am standing next to what appears to be a pod. Eyewitnesses report it streaking to the ground at about 5 a.m. this morning. Uh, wait a minute, I think something's happening. It appears we're having some technical difficulties. Uh, we seem to have lost our feed. Wait, wait a minute. It looks like we're getting our live feedback. Jeff? Jeff, can you hear us? Isn't it time you got to know Kansas City? It's not only our nation's new capital, it's a really fun place to visit. The Capitol building is almost done, and so is the new White House. And unlike Washington, D.C., Kansas City has very little crime. And if that's not enough, it's just minutes away from the world's biggest ball of twine. Kansas City, what are you waiting for? Are you tired of your head getting sunburned? Would you like to look years younger? Try headworms. Scientists at the Nematode Institute have discovered a revolutionary treatment to reverse the balding process. These genetically engineered worms will burrow into your head with very little pain. And in less than 24 hours, you can have a full head of worms and look 20 years younger. With headworms, you're covered. In these hard times, isn't it nice to know that you have a friend to turn to? Purpagoo, the ultimate justice in a little easy to use bottle. With Purpagoo, the hard times just got easier. Welcome to our 112 part series on the Great Trade Wars. In segment number 12, we'll learn about how Texas defeated Mexico in 2032. While most of the northern U.S. fell to the Canadians, northern Mexico was being defeated by U.S. forces. As a result, the new territory became known as Mexis. When we return, we'll explore the rise and fall of the Mexis capital, El Paso.
Okay, everybody, wave to Grandma and Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa Bill and Grandma hey. Denise. Hi, nice Mom. To see Hi, ya. Dad. In segment six, witness a reenactment of the Capitol's destruction. General, a Canadian bomber's broken through. Looks like it's headed for Washington, D.C. Great. I hope someone's waking the president.